Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 2 of the henna recipe. Part 1 is linked in the description. So I had kept this paste for dye release for like 10 or 12 hours and now I'm going to mix and strain it. I had kept it in a glass bowl and covered it in a plastic bag. You can also use silicone lids. After dye release, the top surface of the paste is going to be brown and on the inside it's going to be green in color as visible here now we have to give it a good good mix and we'll see if any water is required you can simplify this job by using a hand whisk your kitchen aid an electric beater i use my stand mixer when i'm making big batches but this was a small batch so i just mixed with my spatula if you want to do the same, make sure your spatula is a silicone spatula. Adjusting consistency is a tough part. And for me, the ideal consistency is that when I make henna ribbons, they actually remain on the top of the paste and melt away after a few seconds and not right away. If the henna ribbons keep their shape and are not melting, that means your paste is too thick and needs more water. And if they disappear too quickly, that means your paste is thin and you can add a little bit of powder to adjust the consistency. I like to do a stain test at this stage. I'm taking a little bit of paste on my pinky and I'll remove it after a few minutes to see what the first stain is like. Next, we have to strain the paste. This step will help get rid of any lumps and gunk in the paste. So I take a tumbler and I take a carrot bag and place it inside the tumbler and try to make as much space on the inside as possible. Next, I take a nylon stocking and repeat the same as I did with the carrot bag. Like this. And again, try to make as much space on the inside as possible. Next, I'm transferring my paste into the tumbler with this stocking and the carrot bag. For me, it's a messy job because I'm clumsy, but you can avoid mess by being careful so i'm going to fill this one carrot bag with all of this paste because my carrot bag can hold that quantity henna paste yield is usually three to four times of the powder used so i had used 100 grams of henna powder my paste is going to be roughly between 300 to 400 grams i'm trying to get as much paste out of the bowl as i can because it's precious for me it's been two to three minutes and I am wiping the paste off my pinky now and it looks like this. This is exactly how your fresh henna stain should look like for a stain test. It's never going to be brown or black or any other color. Back to the paste, I am pulling up the sock very carefully and next I'm grabbing the carrot bag off the tumbler and then I pull them both out like so now i twist the carrot bag with the stocking inside and then i pull out the stocking to get a lump free smooth paste all in my carrot bag there we are I push the paste down and I use a plastic dough cutter I had bought it from a dollar store getting all my paste down into the carrot bag and then i like to secure it with a back clip that i had gotten from a dollar shop there it is well secured here i have my fresh henna paste the next step is filling and sealing cones you'll find the link to that video in the description thanks for watching bye